Hey everyone, wanted to do a follow up to the container pond teardown. And of course, I'm, I'm in my son's room and he's got all his Godzillas lined up. But I wanted to show off the platies. I, so I've got the platies in here, I've got the mosquito fish, I just gave him some flake try to kind of encourage them to come out and so you can see their color. They're really doing amazing. I, I am so impressed with the how the fish did in the container pond. I basically threw them in there with some plants and I would feed them every other day kind of thing but I am so impressed with how they look. The um, color is great, their shine and they're doing so well. So you can see all the platies there. Um, there is some gambusia right up there. The gambusia, what I put in is what I got. So again, if you watch that video, you'll understand that I'm a little puzzled that I didn't get any when I threw all the stuff into the pond, I figured I would be inundated in 60 days with mosquito fish. And it is not the case. I have a lot more platies than I thought. And you can see, they just look great. I am so impressed with platies. In fact, I'm thinking platies might be much hardier than we think they are. I mean, there's a female. She is so f pregnant. It's unbelievable. And they're just, they're not skittish. They're doing so well. I didn't know what to expect. The, so I basically set this tank up just to kind of house whatever came out of the container pond. So it's not really any kind of thought to it. I had an extra bag of Eco Complete. I just threw some cobbles in there, um, some moss, and I've just been letting this sit for 60 days. Hasn't had a single inhabitant until today. Um, so it's, it's not the best scape I've ever come up with, but it's just something to come uh, hold the platies. Now, if I'm going to come up here, the top minnows, I've got the goldens and the black spotted top minnows are in this tank. And again, everything looks great coming out of the pond. I thought that, you know, 60 days, you know, with minimal, you know, there's no filter. There was, all there was was just a bucket of plants that I pulled out of the Delta and that's it. And I fed them basically, you know, every day once, maybe every other day, but they look amazing. The colors are great. The fish themselves are just so robust. There is something to be said for container ponds that um, I think needs further ex exploration. Because I think you can really maybe not improve your lines, but you can really breed for you know really nice fish if you could figure out how to incorporate container ponds and aquariums on the inside. So that's these guys. I'm, I'm going to just leave it there. You can see the, the goldens look great. The pair of black spots look great. Again, I am really disappointed that I did not get any fry out of the top minnows this year. So I'm looking for help. If anyone has any ideas on what to do, um, maybe it's just a matter of putting them out in the spring and giving them a whole year outside. Although 
I have a feeling they're just really predatory towards their own fry. And um, so we'll see. I um, don't want to go the route of the spawning mop and then pulling the spawning mop and putting the eggs somewhere else, but maybe I've got to go that route. No. All right, so there's a follow-up to the container pond teardown, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.